My main focus area and my interest is in vegetation and water and the relationship between the two because vegetation is a major driver of the water balance, especially in a water limited country like Australia. We're at the Fletcherview Research Station and it's a working cattle station in Charters Towers in North Queensland. A flux tower is very high quality sensors that measure flux of carbon and water. So essentially if from that we can work out how much CO2 is coming back down or, or going up. So that's essentially what we're measuring is the, the carbon flux uh, and the water flux. Then we've got a groundwater monitoring bore to measure the recharge into the groundwater system. So a super site is a site where a lot more intensive measurements are able to be done and Fletcherview is one of them. And as part of our bigger experiment here with the flux towers, we've also got a project called the Critical Zone Observatory. And that's about um, linking the work that we do with the flux towers um, all the way down to the groundwater. It means we can study the whole critical zone at this site. So everything from the, the groundwater, the surface of the soil, and all the way up to the top of the tree canopy and the atmosphere. So an important point of difference with this um, super site compared to all the other tropical uh, savanna sites in Northern Australia is grazing. So all the other tropical savanna sites have either very light grazing or it's on conservation lands, which means that we'll be able to quantify the effects of grazing on water and on carbon. The data from the flux towers helps my work enormously. So my background was in modelling, so modelling for the whole state of Queensland, pasture growth and working out how much the safe carrying capacity of grazing lands in Australia is. And one of the gaps we found was we did not have enough data in grazing lands that had woody vegetation on them and we didn't have a really good handle on measurements for those sorts of sites. And so the data from this site enormously helps with validating a large chunk of Queensland that has um, wooded vegetation in it. We're studying the whole ecosystem, so everything from the, the groundwater, the soils, the vegetation and the atmosphere. We've had to bring in a lot of different experts and that's been really great to collaborate with a big range of people. So once industry saw what we were doing, um, they asked if they could collaborate as well and they've been very generous in actually donating sensors. We've had um, three Queensland government departments come out here to help us with field work. We've had people from other departments come and help us with the uh, remote sensing ground truthing with vegetation surveys. The Department of Agriculture and Fisheries helps us out a lot with field work because we do some very intensive measurements of pasture growth for the whole of the growing season as well as for the whole grazing paddock so that we can tie the work that we do here back to the grazing industries. got a few projects happening at this site. One of them is the Cosmos Soil Moisture Sensors. And then CSRO is also helping us with the septal studies where we measure how much water the trees and the shrubs are using. The one thing that's unique to the Fletcherview turn site um, is that we've got grazing going on throughout the data collection process, but seeing how the data is affected by grazing uh, at certain periods um, during the season or during the year, to me has been, been really interesting because that sort of ties in carbon and the flux information with the actual um, on the ground grazing history and, and grazing information as well. So that's been, that's been probably the most interesting to me. And there's a gully very close to the Flux Tower that flows into the nearby creek, which flows into the Burdekin River. And we have been looking at um, installing some runoff monitoring equipment so that we can capture that last bit of the water balance. And that'll make this site one of the only sites in Australia and maybe even globally where we measure the full extent of the water balance. And tied to that will be the carbon fluxes as well as um, data on vegetation.